Ukrainians are breaking Russian defense piece by piece. Here, Ukrainian forces remove a Russian-held tree line with a joint direct attack munition, JDAM. Apparently, Ramzan Kadyrov, believed to be a drug addict, was walking around Grozny in his pajamas when the Russian FSB decided to intervene, writes Chechen Republic of Ichkoria Telegram channel. They took him back to his residence and contacted Putin, who ordered that he be flown to Moscow for treatment of his addiction. From the morning of September 6th to the morning of September 7th, Ramzan Kadyrov, being under the strong influence of narcotic substances, was out for a whole day. Waking up in the early morning of September 7th, Kadyrov, telling the guards not to go with him, went for a walk in his pajamas, from the residence itself to the mayor's office of Grozny. It is unclear why Kadyrov was going there and what was in his head, but soon his entourage came to him, to whom the FSB gave the order. Kadyrov was taken away and taken back to the residence, after which the FSB, having reported the incident to Putin, received an order from him to urgently take Kadyrova to Moscow for treatment. Kadyrov was sent by plane to Moscow that evening, where he is forced to undergo, again, treatment for drug addiction, writes the channel. Hundreds of military equipment destroyed by Russia in Ukraine turned out to be ordinary decoys, reports CNN. The publication notes that Ukraine is actively replacing howitzers, tanks, mortars and radars with false targets in order to force Russian troops to waste drones, missiles and shells. It is noted that, for example, the M777 155mm howitzer, which is in service with many NATO countries and the armed forces of Ukraine, costs up to $4 million, and its imitation made of ordinary sewer pipes costs $1,000. In the forest west of Kremina, Russian forces shelled Ukrainian positions with nine M22S 122mm incendiary grad rockets. Footage shows the burning magnesium thermite elements floating down through the trees. Russian man says what he thinks Russia should do to Ukrainians and people from the Baltic states. We have been saying this from the start. This isn't just Putin's war. политики России, почему мы так мягко, в общем-то, с ними поступаем. Надо просто бомбить Киев и, бомбить. и да, бомбить и все остальное там. Просто сравнить с землей. А люди? В смысле люди? Но там уже те, кто хочет, пусть остаются. Конечно, и... удивили. In Russia, an Airbus passenger plane almost suffered a plane crash due to a technical malfunction and hydraulic problems and was forced to make an emergency landing right in the field. There were 159 passengers and six crew members on board the vessel, which landed in the Novosibirsk region. The Ural Airlines plane failed to fly from Sochi to Omsk and made an emergency landing in a field due to technical problems. Among the passengers, there were 23 children, and there were no victims in the accident. Initially, the reason for the emergency landing of the Airbus plane was the failure of the hydraulic system. Civil aviation in Russia one of the sectors hardest hit by the sanctions continues to persevere. As a result of the sanctions, Russian airlines have lost foreign routes, leasing and maintenance capabilities, access to new foreign aircraft and insurance instruments. Повезут. 
село Московка, Новосибирская область. Дом культуры. Там обогреют, накормят, а потом неизвестно, куда будут отправлять, каким образом. Several days ago, a Chinese opera singer Wang Fang visited the ruins of Mariupol Drama Theater and sang a Soviet wartime song, Katyusha. When I saw the media reports on how the children of Donbass are getting killed by Ukrainian Nazis, I felt anger and outrage, says the singer known for performing anti-American songs at a follow-up press conference. She is also married to the member of the People's Political Advisory Committee, supervised by the Chinese Communist Party, Zhou Xiaoping. In his blog posts, he's been narrating about Russia protecting the people of Donbass from NATO assaults. But did anyone told her that 600 Ukrainians were killed by Russian airstrike in the same theater where she sang? I'm not only a singer, but I'm also a mother. I have two children, and I hope that there will be more children. So when I saw the reports from the media, I heard about the killing of the children of Donbass by Ukrainian Nazis. It was a shame for me and a whole series of feelings. I wanted to go to Donbass all the time to see how people live there, how people live there, how people live there. I hope that there will be a possibility to do something for them. I know that in Donbass there is a place мемориал погибшим детям. И мы знаем, что плененные украинские нацисты были доставлены в этот музей, чтобы посмотрели на дело рук своих. И поэтому мне тоже хотелось побывать в этом месте. И я думаю, что являясь матерью, для меня это очень важно. Спасибо. Очень коротко и ясно. The UK has donated Malloy heavy lift drones to Ukraine, which can carry supplies and weaponry to the front line. Malloy and Hydra drones will be on display this week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.